Hey guys, so in this video we're just going to be having a look at a numerical versus categorical data example. So we're going to use this video to kind of really clarify what numerical and what categorical data is. So over here on my left I've got data which I gathered when I went, yeah I gather data when I go on holiday. But I went on holiday to Beachside and Flattown. And I went for 21 days and I got the temperatures in degrees Celsius for every day which I was there. And I've recorded them here in this back-to-back -back ordered stem and leaf plot. So this was a back-to-back -back and it was ordered stem and leaf plot. So today's question, we really want to work out are the variables Beachside and Flat Town. And degrees Celsius numerical or categorical. So if we'll remember, we had two ways of remembering this or our uh, categorical so I'll do it down here and say a nice blue, blue for the C. So we had categorical. This was categories. So data which was categories was categorical data. Categories. And then the easy way to remember numerical data was that it was just numbers. So if we're wanting to answer this question here, are the variables beachside and flat town and degrees Celsius numerical or categorical, we really need to break it down. So we've got two sets of variables. Firstly, we've got beachside and flat town, which are our, cat our two, I guess, categories of our stem and leaf plot. And then we've got our temperatures, which are down here, which are all these numbers just around here. So we really need to look at it in two parts. So first I guess we'll take Beachside and Flat Town. And I've got a colour scheme going, so I guess I'll keep working with that. So Flat Town and Beachside. So are these numerical or categorical? Well, Flat Town, there's no real numbers there. And Beachside, there are no numbers there. And if we look up at our ordered stem and leaf plot, our data is broken into two categories, and I'll do that just down the middle here. So if I drew a line down here, I'm just going to completely ruin this stem and leaf plot. On our left we have one category, and that's the beachside variables. And on our right we have the other category, which is flat town. So we'd be leaning to say that our flat town and beachside variables would be categorical, as they break our data into two categories. These being temperatures which I observed while I was at Beachside and temperatures I observed while I was in Flat Town. So we can write that down and say that our Flat Town and Beachside, they're categorical variables. So the data is either from Flat Town or Beachside. Then if we want to look at our degrees Celsius, so our degrees Celsius, these are our temperatures. These really make up all of the values inside the table. So here, here, here. All of these values are our temperatures for Beachside, and all of these values are our temperatures for Flat Town. And as we can see, we can write out, if we read our stem leaf plot, we can write out what numbers or temperatures I actually observed. So I'd say I had 15 degrees in Beachside and then 17 degrees. Don't worry about how I'm getting these figures. But I could actually write out all of the data and I'd have a series of 42 different observations for my Beachside and, and Flat Town. And these would all be numbers. So because we see that the temperature is numbers, we would say that it's 
numerical data. So if we were to if we were asked to answer this question, we'd say that beachside and flat town were categorical and the temperatures in degrees Celsius was numerical data. So we have two different types. We have one categorical set of data and one numerical set of data. Thanks for that guys. I'll see you on the next video.